sometimes we want to pass in maybe something a little bit more than just plain text. Uh, we can just pass in a string for maybe setting the color, and we can just set you to be like, you know, hey, I want you to be blue. Or if we're, you know, not just passing direct colors, and we want to just pass in maybe something, something else like okay or warning error uh, we want that to be like specific colors associated with those types that can be a little bit annoying if we're having to constantly parse the strings uh, into what they are and then just like return what the class is and maybe set that so let's go ahead and explore using enums uh, to do that instead for us which is once again utilizing this type system that we're getting from rust uh, so one thing that I've done here in preparation, I've removed that uh, style sheet that we had. Uh, so we have absolutely no styles applied to our main app component. So in main title, we're going to go ahead and create a new style sheet here, which does mean that we need to update this to a uh, styled component. And uh, I want to set up some classes here for what this, um, what this is gonna be. Uh, now, if I wanna do that and actually have a class, that does mean I need to uh, have a wrapper around this. So I'm thinking we can choose we can choose a couple here. So if it's um, if it's like normal, so if we do normal. I want you to have a color of maybe like white. If you're um, okay, maybe then we'll have a color of green and error will have a color of red so a nice like three color system for us to start off with and we can obviously grow this now this is going to be part of this style sheet but this enum that we're going to create and maybe like this specific uh, style sheet text could be shared around in case we want to for maybe like a um, multiple components could then color themselves based upon this exactly uh, okay, so we're going to apply the style sheet here. And if we want to go verify that this is working the way we expect it to, I can see that high there still, uh, but we can't actually see anything in it. And if we go and expect it, uh, we will see the style sheet. Let me make this bigger. There's our normal, our okay, and our error. Uh, and of course, the reason why it's not applying is because while we have this class, the H1 doesn't have any classes associated with it. So we would need to come into here and uh, programmatically add in a class equals maybe okay. Oh, you're not gonna let me do that? Oh, I guess, I guess Firefox won't let me add that in there. Oh, I guess I might need to add an attribute. Class equals, okay, there it goes. And now it's green. So that's exactly what we want to do. But we want to pass that in as a property so we know exactly what to set that as. Uh, well, what we can do is have maybe a, a color and this needs to be something here. It's gonna be some kind of like enum. Maybe we're gonna set that as a color enum, which means we actually have to create that. So uh, we're gonna do a pub enum color. Um, 
Now, because this is partial equal, this enum is also going to have to derive partial equal. And we're going to want normal, OK, and error. Now, normally, maybe you might want to say like normal is nothing. So maybe this could be an option. And then if nothing is passed in, then uh, you're going to auto choose that one. Uh, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to make that a choice here. So we're going to have normal, OK, and error. Now, here in library, it's yelling at us saying, hey, we're not passing in all the possible properties. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a, um, uh, the, the, the error message that we get here isn't the best. So this is telling us no method named title found for struct. But unfortunately, what the real error is, is that we're missing a color property. So I want to use uh, brackets for this because we're passing in rust code essentially and we want to pass in maybe one of these let's go for perhaps normal first so i we'll want a color and it actually doesn't know where to pull that in so we also need to pull in main title and color so now when i pull in color it then we can pull in normal Autocomplete gets a little bit funny uh, with this, mainly because Rust Analyzer and Macros, as of the time of this recording, is sometimes doesn't play well together. And so we get a little bit of weirdness when it comes to autocomplete. Uh, but hopefully our macros shouldn't be too complex that we can't just, you know, copy and paste what, what we want in here. Okay, so we're going to start with normal here. Uh, which means I want to now on this h1 set a class equal to something. Uh, basically, I want it to be a dot nor uh, normal, okay, or error, which matches what we have in this enum. Uh, however, unfortunately, it's not going to be quite that easy. I could put in some code here to sort of like detect what we have, um, but I think it would be easier to put a method on this color. So we're going to impl color. And we're going to have a pub function. Uh, maybe let's just do this like a two-ster. Um, I think a two-ster will be fine. Uh, a two-string might also be OK. Uh, two-string might be, might be better. Uh, this is going to take in a reference to self. And we're going to return a string. So we're just going to match self and have Rust Analyzer fill in these arms. And so now we can see, OK, well, what do we want to do when normal is here? Well, what we want is normal and then just make this two owned. Want the same thing for OK. And finally, error. And what this means is that we can now use this property with the toString method uh, for ourselves down here. So we can say props.color toString. If we head back over here, we now have white text. Let's, uh, let's make this a lot smaller. And we're going to go ahead and update this to be an OK. And that updates it to, to green. So that's a way for us to now pass in an enum, or we could use structs here too. It doesn't, you know, the, the sky is the limit for what we can pass in. We don't have to just limit it to strings. Uh, and then that way we can then use custom logic, add some functions into these, uh, uh, well, in this case, an enum. So that way it makes it a little bit simpler when we're just applying this to the HTML. And that way we can customize what the colors are going to be uh, in this case. Uh, and make it a lot simpler for ourselves. Anyways, hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!